you love the groove. So I'm, you know, so when you in, when you when you gave uh, Boosie the money, um, basically he yeah he was down with it straight up. He said, you know, I'm a hustler. Come on, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. Give me the address. He told everybody follow me. He didn't care what. Boosie is not like no. That's why I, I kind of got his attitude. I learned from being around him so much. He's not like all oh, the celebrities where he's scared, lean back. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gon' talk. You love the groove, so I'm, you know. So when you in, when you when you gave uh, Boosie the money, um, basically he yeah he was down with it. Straight up, he said, like, "You know I'm a hustler. Come on, man, let's get it. Let's get it. Give me the address." He told everybody, "Follow me." He didn't care what. Boosie is not like no. That's why I, I kind of got his attitude. I learned from being around him so much. He's not like all oh, the celebrities where he's scared, lean back. Let's do it. He went to the basement studio with me and rocked it out. He was like, "Give me a cigarette." Nobody had no cigarette. One person had one cigarette. I paid fifty dollars for that cigarette. Mm. Get this man a secret so he can write this verse. He wrote the verse and knocked it out. Boosie's cool. Man. I learned that's why I go any damn near, damn near any place to go knock verses out. Let's do it. What you want to do? Yeah, Boosie, Boosie have a, a like. A, he, Those artists he, is bougie. No, this nigga right here is slick. Yeah. You know, Boosie ain't bougie. No, nah, he ain't because yeah. he deal with my partner Sir Charles Jones. See, that's Southern Soul. And I know they deal because he had that bir that birthday bash with him every time. Mm -hmm. And he deal with uh, Bad News be there too. Bad news is these are these are Southern Soul artists. They not, okay. but they booked every week. They getting the same money. They doing their thing, but it's just a different, you know, different John way. Man. Yeah, different way. But them boys doing their thing. They go to air every week. I can call. They they, they go some to trail rides and they go to and trail ride. They go everywhere. Ride. Okay, they getting their bag. Hey, that's what but the game is about. At the end of the day, it's a different type of music. But it's they doing what you said. They sticking to, they staying true to who they. Who they are. Who they are. But then a lot of R and B, um, I've heard some R and B um singers who say they're actually trying to cross over into that um soul. Southern soul. Southern soul is what they call it now because they're trying to stay relevant. Because they're going to all the trail rides and that's what's ev it's all over the South. Trail yeah, it's rides. In the South, man. Have, yeah, I'm getting booked pretty good now. See have you done <laughs> trail rides? I, done, I, I think we just did one in uh, Mississippi. Y'all did one? They, what do you think about it? Was it was me and like, it was some older bands. Yeah. They, was, they was going in. <laughs> they be, they I had my though. They, I killed it though. Did you? Oh, come on, I'm going out there going crazy. I can imagine. Mississippi? Man, I like Mississippi. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm a rider. I'll be I going. love Mississippi. Yeah, <laughs> Mississippi. Mississippi, like first state they ever, ever like take me in. I did yeah. 16 cities. Wow, I love Mississippi. They they book you. They love you. They love you. Yeah. So when you get when you get like super super big, because I know you're gonna get super super big. Okay. You say you're going all the way. You're going all the way. So you talking about Michael Jackson type nigga? Yeah. Oh dang. Oh, I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be a Michael Jackson type nigga? You got but some work, boy. Because, get in because now. of who you are and how humble you are and Very um humble. your ethics. That's the reason why I see you going. You know where you need to go because you're not letting a lot of stuff get to your head. But um, when you get up there, are you gonna still always charge for features? Um, no, I'm gonna start reaching now. Yeah, you see, once you get so much, what it, you see, I'm gonna start I, reaching I understand now. what you're asking. And the you. reason why I asked that question because I was reading an article with Jay Z. He was talking to Kevin Hart, and he said he's never ever charged for a feature ever, but he's very selective of who he does the features with. Yeah, he doesn't do many, but that what that does is make you more exclusive. Damn right, it makes you more exclusive, like. They can't hear your voice as much. So people, it's the game is about being discovered. So a person that doesn't do a lot of features, you want more of it. Yeah. So Jay-Z come out with a song right now, and he probably ain't dropped in a year or two. That gonna go crazy. He gonna go crazy because you ain't heard him in so long. Yeah. But he said the reason why he does that is because he looks at how he can network with the person. He's not really looking at um, monetarily. He's looking at, because but networking is what gets relationship. You, building relationship, that's really what he's looking at yeah. more but, than but anything in else. In the new age, I mean, people in that bag. Yeah. Jay-Z's getting different type of money. Yeah. Jay-Z's yeah. not just making music. He ain't by himself either. That's, that's the same thing Andre 3000 do. Mm -hmm. He the same way. It, he ain't gonna just jump on no anybody. Andre nothing. 3000 is also an actor. <laughs> you know, right? He's, he's part of a legendary group called Outcast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That make great money and still streams very well. Very well. You know, um, you can't I, ask somebody, ask Jay Z what he was doing when he was, well, he was still a hustler, when he was just first coming up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, he had to. What made me do a lot of features when I heard Boosie say he made 800000 in a year? I said, oh, I like that. Man, like I said, <laughs> nothing a, I'd rather do than make 800000 a year. It's a mindset. It's a mindset. You got to listen Whatever to you learn. feel is for your brand is what right. you have to do. Yeah, because me, have, I've always been for the people. people. Yeah. I'm for helping because I'm always preaching that they don't want to do songs with me. Yeah. They don't want to help me out. They don't want to pull me in. So I'm going to pull people in. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.